Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is basically going to be about my new spring latch that I just created a video the last couple of days. And somebody's already asked me how I could incorporate or how they could incorporate that into other shapes. So I'm just going to show you this is the spring latch um, that the file is on Epilogue's Facebook page. And a couple of things, you need to make a copy of this. And uh, as you can see, I've got several copies over here uh, in case you mess something up. I've got my nudge factor set on five inches, so I'm just going to put it back. So you basically just want to get it inside your new shape, and I'm just using a guitar shape, for instance. Then you need to take your two-point line and hold down your control key so you get a good straight line and just go past your your uh, line there and then take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines you don't need and I've actually found a little mistake in this so let's correct it real quick I've got a um, I must have moved something Okay, so now you got your guitar shape, and basically this is your inside of what you want. Um, so a couple of things you need to do is one, now take your guitar shape back out, and well, let's go back, let's make a duplicate of it, Control D, and get out of the way. So then both these shapes are the both the correct size. And this is going to be your back. This is going to be your inside. And then all you need to do is just delete these lines right here with your virtual segment delete key. And there is your new spring latch box inside of a new shape. And we're going to group all that together. And you're ready to cut it out. Now, this particular guitar had a, a um, decorative front, and it's pretty neat, and it actually cuts out a hole, so you can see the business cards, and, and it's got some little details there, and this file will be posted on Epilogue's Facebook page, but you need to, uh, you know, if you need to correct, uh, make your own. You know, no matter what shape it is, um, you know, you could do a round object for somebody that plays baseball and engrave a baseball or a football or, you know, uh, whatever they're into that they're going to use their business cards to for. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.